All right, guys and gals, Crypto Kurt here with another crypto video, and tonight I'm going to be taking a look at NEO. And we're going to be looking at three reasons why you might want to consider adding NEO to your portfolio. Again, this is not financial advice, should only be construed as educational and entertainment uh, content. So, once again, please don't construe this as financial advice. All right, guys, so I'm not going to go into an in depth white paper review of, of NEO. Basically, if you understand what Ethereum is, NEO is doing pretty much the same thing. So it's a protocol which uh, trades on the exchanges. And you can see currently it's trading for $160.38 US. Let's just have a quick look at this graph here. So quite interesting. Uh, big, huge run up over the last month. Uh, nice pullback when everything else pulled back. And then it's gone right back up. Let's just quickly compare that to a uh, Bitcoin graph. And you can see Bitcoin massive run up. Massives pull down and we haven't had the big comeback yet. So NEO has had the big comeback and is uh, putting it in really strong, looking like it's getting ready to pop off to some new highs potentially. Again, I'll let you guys who are graphic and technical traders have a look at this. But effectively, NEO, once again, is going to be an Ethereum equivalent. And it is based in the Chinese market. There is one big difference between uh, NEO and Ethereum that I do want to mention, and that is if you want to develop an application on the Ethereum network, you have to use a new programming language. I think it's called Solidity, I think. Hang on. Yeah, we can see it here, the Solidity programming language for the Ethereum on the, on the GitHub. So if you want to program on with Ethereum, using Ethereum, and you're an existing developer or programmer, you have to go learn a new language. Now, I guess for some developers, learning a new language is part of it, and that's very exciting. But I know for a lot of developers that I've spoken to in the past, you know, learning a new language is a royal pain in the ass. So on the uh, so having said that, again, if you're on ETH, if you're programming on Ethereum on the ERC20 uh, platform, you're going to have to learn a new programming language. If you want to program and develop apps on the Neo protocol, they use you can use uh, JavaScript or C Sharp. And when I first saw this uh, interview with one of the lead developers way back when, I, I really I should have bought more, actually. Um, just a quick history. Uh, it originally came out as Ant Shares and was trading for just a few dollars um, back in May of last year. Uh, and again, you can see here, it was, you know, when I was first looking at it, it was in the dollar range, basically. I first started getting into cryptos towards the end of May, so it was $1.20, $1.30. thirty. I think I, I bought four or five of them and just let them sit, and it went up to 30 bucks. And then pulled back and I've been adding uh, to my uh, holdings now. And so I just want to go through A, what it is, which is what we're doing right now. B, the, um, the passive income opportunity. C, what's happening with the platform and what may happen going forward. Okay, so that's what we're talking about here. So again, quick history on what NEO is. Quick description of the difference between NEO and Ethereum. Again, the programming, the base programming languages are different. And then looking at this as a uh, passive income opportunity as well. So that's what we're going to look at next. Okay, so when you own NEO, you automatically stake what's called staking. So you automatically are mining for gas. So just by owning NEO, you get free gas. It's so ultra cool. I mean, it's just unbelievable. So the difference between NEO and gas is NEO is what's used to basically fund the platform and gas is what is going to be used by the neo based applications to run the applications and do things like move neo around on the network so you have to understand that neo is its own blockchain completely different than any of the than ethereum or any of the other blockchains and again it's a protocol and you're going to have to have gas to basically fire up and make the apps actually do stuff okay so you could play it either way. You could go invest in uh, gas if you wanted to, or you could invest in NEO. But the point is, is if you get you get gas for free just by getting the NEO. So what I've done is I did a search for the NEO to gas calculator. Uh, so let's just say you own um, 100 NEO. And we'll put on calculate, let it do its thing. You can see that currently 100 NEO would cost you $15,855. Current rate of gas is 66.93. 
There's a theory calculation and an actual calculation. I'm only going to stick with the actual calculations. Don't care about theoretically what I'm going to make. I only care about what I actually am going to make. So we can see that basically as of today, based on the current valuations, it's about 10 to 1. So if I had 100 um, NEOs sitting in my NEON wallet, which I'm going to show you how to set up, you would actually get 10.1 gas per year. So again, if we do some quick math, um, it's giving you the percentages here, right? So um, you're basically getting a 4.25% dividend return. Uh, again, there's a theory that's 7.09%, but we're not going to worry about the theory. We will take the conservative number and take the actual calculations. So again, you spend 15000 and you're going to end up with $680. That's based on today's pricing at the end of the year, right? So that's where they're getting these valuations from. And just to run through that math with you, the way to work it out, if you had $680 in earnings, you divide that by your original investment, 15885 and you can see that we're getting a 0 0.0428, so it's 4.25%, basically pretty much the same spot on, so that's where they're getting that number from, and that's how you get the calculation. And again, if we compare just that to, say, um, some popular stocks in the U.S. that pay dividends, so as an example, if we compare this to like GE, so General Electric in the U.S. currently has a 2.7% yield. So again, by just by putting your money into NEO and farming out, uh, turning that into some gas, you're getting a 4.25% return. I mean, that's just unbelievable. If we change this to 1,000 and we recalculate, uh, we're going to put in $157,513. We're going to end up with 100 um, 100 gas, which again at the moment is trading at $68, uh, so you'd get $6,800 uh, from your uh, 157,513. Um, and again, the 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 uh, the rates have changed because the values of these tokens are going up and down continuously. So that percentage is always going to change based on the difference between those two tokens. Again, if we have a quick look at gas, uh, it's one of the biggest movers today on Coin Market Cap. It's up 35% today. Look at that volume today. Just absolutely smashing it. So again, and it's, uh, it's all-time highs back uh, last earlier in the month. If I can get right on that, what's that? Uh, $85. So it's just been as high as $85.68 USD. Had a big pullback along with everything else. And again, just like the NEO, it has done a massive pop. Massive pop. Again, if I go here in a coin market cap just to see the difference, it has slowed down a little bit. Uh, look at that pillar, 41%, unbelievable. Um, gas, 25%, just in the last 24 hours. So again, it's uh, somebody's getting getting the sniffs of this stuff, guys. I think the smart money is starting to realize that this um, this is not only a no-brainer from a passive passive income point of view, but the popularity of the the uh, platform and protocol is growing as well. Okay, so how do you set up the NEON wallet so that you can start uh, staking your NEO and getting gas? So you're going to come to um, City of Zion NEON wallet. Again, I'll put this link in the description box so you can come here and download the wallet. This is a wallet that lives on your computer, so it's a hard wallet tied to your PC. You're going to choose whatever platform you're using, uh, Linux, Mac, Windows, or another Linux option. Uh, I am currently on Windows, so I've downloaded that and opened it up. And let's have a quick look at what that looks like. So effectively, this is once you've installed the uh, platform, this is the window that you're going to get. So you can save multiple wallets in this wallet. You can use encrypted keys, private keys, ledger, uh, manage your settings, etc. Create a new wallet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this and log in to one of my uh, one of my Neon wallets. Okay, you can see that I've got a couple of Neo sitting in here. You can see that I've got some gas building up. And you can see that right now I can claim my gas. So if I click claim on gas, it's going to send NEO to itself. And basically what's going to happen is you can see this. I'm going to send zero NEO to myself. And then every one of these is a gas claim that I've done. Okay. And I've been doing this, uh, I don't know, a couple months with this one. So it's, uh, it's adding up slowly but surely. Again, there's not much NEO in this particular wallet. But you can actually do this every five minutes. So see how I mouse that? You can claim your gas once every five minutes. Granted, it's not 100% passive income because, oh, oops, you have to open the wallet and click a button. But, you know, if, if that's all you have to do to, to earn some side cash, I mean, that's ridiculous, right? Um, this wallet's also quite interesting in that they just updated it. 
And they've got it set up now to where if there's a token sale on the uh, network, on the, the NEO network, if there's an ICO that's happening on the NEO network, they're going to allow the, the token, um, the ICO, I guess, developers to access this wallet using APIs. And then as an individual, if you see an ICO listed here, you can actually participate in the ICO directly from the wallet. Now, I know there's a lot of U-Butte wallets that are coming out in the future, Pillar and Ethos, and they're all going to do this stuff now. But I thought this was pretty cool that right now you can do this now. So if there are, and these are three ICOs that are, are three tokens that are currently available for purchase, you choose which one you want, what NEO amount, and away you go, right? And so you can do all that straight out of the wallet, which I think is really cool. But ultimately, what you want to do is make sure that you uh, get the neon wallet make sure you have the latest version which is uh, 0 0.1.1 .1, and get your neon in here sorry your neo in here and of course it's just like any other wallet for those of you that are familiar you're going to have a send to address and a receive address you can see those here i'm not going to display those at the moment but basically from the um, from whatever exchange you purchase neo on you're going to send the neo to your address, so you're going to get your uh, receive address, and you're going to send it from the from the from the platform from the exchange to this wallet, and then once it's settled here, you can start claiming your gas every five minutes, and you can see that my gas has already come through, so I've already got 0.00122538 gas that I didn't have uh, five minutes ago. All right, guys, so that's how to get some passive income going with the uh, Neo shares or with the Neo tokens. And then what to do with your Neon wallet. And then we're going to take a quick look at the platform and see what's going on there. Okay, so if you come over here to neo.org, and again, I'll have these three links. So I'll have a link to the, um, the, pat, the um, how to get the wallet, a link to this. And then from here, you're going to click on dApps. And it's going to open this, uh, this list of dApps here. And these are, dApp, of course, is distributed application. So these are applications that are currently either live or will be uh, current ICO, or they're either tokens trading already, they're ICOs that are live, or they're upcoming ICOs. And you can come through here and see uh, ADEX is already trading and has actually done quite well. Uh, so it's on the, on the network, and again, you'll see more and more and more of these. So for those of you who were around last year and watched the value of Ethereum grow for two main reasons, because the ICOs required... ETH to be used to buy the ICOs. It's the same here. If you want to buy a NEO ICO or an ICO that's been developed on the NEO platform, you have to have NEO. So the price of NEO is going to go up simply because people are going to want the NEO to go buy the ICOs. The other thing that's going to happen is as more applications get built onto the base protocol, the whole, the whole thing lifts. It's the rising tide lifts all ships, right? So again, the value of NEO should also increase. Now, we did see ETH do some ups and downs, crocodile teeth, as they say last year, because what would happen was all these IC, a whole bunch of ICOs would come out in a given week, and then everyone would go buy ETH, and everyone would buy the ICOs, and the ETH would go up because everyone was buying. But then the ICOs would actually turn around and go sell the ETH into the marketplace because they needed cash to go get their building and hire their developers and you know build their app and all the other things. So you could almost time it such that you could buy ETH before the ICOs and then sell it right after before all the ICOs actually sold it and you know people were trading that and and killing it. I have a feeling you're going to see that happen now and I think what's happening with Neo now is as these more applications become available, more people are buying Neo and uh, getting ready to invest in these applications. Okay, so you got several things going for this thing. One again is passive income. So Neo directly creates gas. The platform itself has been developed to be used with JavaScript and C Sharp. And there's a hell of a lot of JavaScript and C Sharp uh, programmers, a hell of a lot more than Solidity programmers, that's for sure. Thousands more, right? Hundreds of thousands more, I guarantee you that. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, I've been sick as a dog the last two weeks, so that's the reason why I haven't done any videos. I couldn't, want, I couldn't bear to commit a horrible voice to a video recording. So again, to revisit, we have passive income. We have a really cool wallet. We have a growing community of applications that are being developed on the protocol, on the platform. And then we have a general growth in interest across 
all of the apps that are be coming out on this platform. So Neo currently trading at $168. Wouldn't do you remember Ethereum trading at $168? That was May of last year. And where is it now? Ethereum is currently trading at 1174. So that would be almost a 10 time gain. So my assumption, my guess, my best guess is um, a year from now, NEO is going to be trading at 1600 I can't believe that it won't be 10 times its current value. And again, that will just mean that you'll have uh, 10 times more NEO to play with when you are looking at getting into some of these ICOs. All right, guys. So once again, just a quick review of the passive income opportunities for NEO, the platform growth and the application growth, and just the total um, uplifting in the marketplace around this token. So something to certainly take a look at, do your homework, and pay attention as we move forward. All right, guys, hope this was helpful. Give me a like, give me a thumbs up, share this to anyone that, who talks to you about NEO, and let's hope that we all benefit from this rising tide. All right, guys, Crypto Kurt out.